Is Israel attacking Palestinian civil society? Israel just designated six leading Palestinian NGOs as fronts for the terrorist organization PFLP. And the US, EU, UN, and many human rights groups are furious. But they really shouldn't be given what's already known about these groups. Adamir's co-founder is a PFLP terrorist. Their former accountant, Samir Arbet, is responsible for the murder of a 16-year-old Israeli. Their board member, Yakub Ode, is a convicted murderer. And their former director general, Khalida Jarar, is a leader of the PFLP in the West Bank. Al-Haq director, Shawan Jabari, was convicted for terrorist recruitment to the PFLP, serving time in prison for it. Jabarin also sits on the board of DCIP, the third organization, which has multiple convicted PFLP terrorists on their board. UAWC employs Samir Abed, who is responsible for the death of Rina Schnurb, as we mentioned before. They also employ Razak Faraj, who was involved in the same attack. This organization also forged documents to get millions in European funding for terrorist activities. PFLP terrorist at Rafa Rimawi belongs to the Bissan Research Center, which reports directly to the PFLP and has even laundered money for them. Their offices also double as PFLP meeting sites unrelated to the organization's mission. How convenient. And finally, the UPWC is known even by USAID as the official women's organization of the PFLP. They too forge documents and laundered money for the PFLP. But that shouldn't be a surprise to the EU since they've worried about misuse of aid for years already. Somehow their outrage isn't very convincing. Finally, accusations that Israel is suppressing critical voices makes no sense when we have organizations operating freely like Petzelem, Breaking the Silence, and even Human Rights Watch. Not to mention dozens of Palestinian NGOs that work against the state of Israel without funding terrorism. Maybe instead of condemning Israel, the EU should be thanking Israel for exposing where their funds are actually going.